<laughs> so uh, it's actually very nice having you on the show here. Thank you. It. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about it. Your real name is actually one of um, the standout name in the state, in Glass. Oh, that's my dad's name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. My real names are Okibrubon, Emmanuel, and Glass. Say it again. Okibrubon, Emmanuel, and Glass. Okibrubon means Ayanya, crown. Okay. Yeah. What language is that? Andoni. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know you didn't know about no, that. No, I didn't know about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but, but I know the Inglas part is actually um, a very yeah. name that all of you have been running away. No, we're not running away, you know. The thing is, we just naturally like to be low-key. God happened to just put us there. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so that's it. So uh, that, that will actually bring up another question. So where is Ogiva from? I'm from Istanbul local government area. I'm on glass to be precise. And that's in Akwaibom. So we happen to be an Andoni tribe in Akwaibom. Yeah. yeah so. Okay. So that part is a little bit understood for yeah. me. <laughs> so if you've traveled in Istanbul, we caught up a scene, but then inside Bally, you realize that it has, an, yeah, right. it has an angle to the Andoni and the rest. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, l let's talk about you. How far so far? You've been producing a lot of music from this side of the south, a whole lot. Mm, yeah. How has that been? It's God's grace. Like mm. you know, having people who believe and trust your ability to do certain things. So mm -hmm. coming to you with their projects and trusting you with it is a different level of grace entirely. Mm -hmm. So I feel blessed and I'm honored to have handled those projects so far. Okay, so there's a project you did some time ago called Seminar. Seminar, yeah. Hmm. That was my single that year. <laughs> what year? I can't even remember. That was like 2012. Okay. Yeah. 2012, yes. man. All right, guys. So if you're just joining us on the show, we were stable, right? All <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, drop a comment. I don't know why Ogiva is trying to be timid now, but if, if we're off this camera, <laughs> so you go and tell me like tomorrow or day. <laughs> but hey, it's your show, so <laughs> I can't show, do that. It's your show. <laughs> Okay, so uh, uh, one of this, right? Uh, what we do, what we do is we gist. Yeah. Those conversations, like we have, right? So it's not an. So interview. I can relax. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. Come on, chill. I feel come on, shit. No, not come on, shit. You take camera. You are a public figure, man. Public figures don't take off their shirts. Uh sometimes, except you're a wrestler, John Cena. Well, you're not. Okay, from next year, <laughs> I'll join boxing. <laughs> Okay. How to go into boxing full time. Okay, all right. So while Ogive is trying to go into boxing full time, guys, he's an artist, he's a music artist, and of course he's a producer. One of the best we are from this side, I can tell you that for free. And um today he's sitting down with me to talk about um what he has done so far, so good. And um Ogive. So um I don't know if I can use Ogive because yeah, that's naturally what I call yeah, you. I, they are can wait. Okay. So why the Ogiver? Well, the original name happens to be Ogive. That's cumulative frequency curve. Use okay. it to calculate mode, mean, and median in mathematics. That's okay. like the last topic you have on general mathematics textbook. Mm. I, didn't go, I didn't go to school, so. I did. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, everyone in my class knew that I didn't like mathematics that much. But my dad, being who he was, he never gave up. Mm. So, he invested a lot to send me to like extra lessons during the holidays. So when I got back to school, they introduced statistics and the teacher was like, ah, who can solve this? So it was like a shock to everybody. Mm. Ah, this guy, we don't like math. I went to the board, I did everything, sat down, the teacher was like, clap for him. So one of my friends, Kins Ludoldo, he's fond of giving people names. So I was like, oh, give the bad guy. <laughs> I you know in school then any name that is not your real name sells faster than your, your real name. name. Like yeah. there are people who we didn't get to know their real names in school because of their nicknames. So while working with um effects, I was an intern with him at Hit Factory Studios years back. And mm. we had this artist that would never let me record him. So mm. if effects is not around, he's not working. So one day he came waiting on effects, he was at the reception. So I was busy inside doing my small smoke boo, 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 boo. and i didn't know he was enjoying it foil went off i came out to like switch over and maybe put foil or change over to nepa mm. and it was like ah, you're the one inside i say yeah oh give now you did inside i say yeah. now you did do that thing why did you say yeah. then you're an oh giver like you gave me that oh expression i was like mm. 
I like that that variation because when you type O give on Google, you see cumulative frequency curve first. Mm. But now if you type O giver, after the first five pages, the next thing you see is O giver of life, which is God. And I love it that way. <laughs> okay. So, All right. So you're going to work on the SEO of that so that it can become um first page, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm on the first five pages of Google. Yeah, okay. Mm. All right, that's fantastic. All right, we have comments already rolling in. Um, John T is saying, oh, give up, please. Whatever happens, don't do that thing. Which thing? <laughs> As a man, I don't go run them. <laughs> okay, okay. John T <laughs> says, no go, no go run them more. All right, so he's saying, just stay put. All right, so uh, Mix Noni, that's from Prosper Kingsley Morris. Yeah, he said, Baba man. wasn't a music producer. Oh, at least now comedian if for be and that one not sure, Shaq. Because I funny, you know me, say I go funny for crowd. It depends. Just go stand. Never, because it's the comedy is a different ball game. Mm. The composure, the the charisma, and um, the ability to know what to strike with. Mm. Because not be every audience you could just go talk these kind of things where they talk to. Mm. Then they, they relate based on say, oh, now my guys. Mm. Mm. So that's how I see. It. Well. So if you if you're not a music producer, you are not an artist. What would I'll you be? I'll be a pastor. I know. See that waiting in good talk. Yes, to I would love to work who? for God. No, not to impress anybody. But I would love okay. to work for God. It's divine. It's a different blessing to work for God. Mm-hmm. But since I don't have the calling, then it's fine. I'm you going call, to serve. You the call. No, Place the call, man. Make me a call, God. Yes. <laughs> you're not the first. You won't be the last. No, I I I wasn't raised that way. But trust me, <laughs> I wasn't raised to call God. I can only call on God. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, trust me, like, I'll definitely want to be a pastor mm. on normal grounds. Like, ah, I know a lot. Okay. I can share a lot. Yeah, like you've been calling the Bible since you came today. Bible you've mentioned for me. Bible for, for how long? For as long as I've been here. Okay. So, so why, why weren't you a gospel artist? What's gospel artist? I don't know. Um, artists that, the that, thing is, that do more of the if gospel. If you go through the Bible, mm. you see that the Holy Spirit gives different gifts. You see, and these gifts are like the parts of the body. Mm. They all come together to form the full body of Christ. Okay. So if everybody is a gospel artist, who's going to be the sound engineer in the church? Okay. Gospel, gospel sound engineers? It must be gospel. A sound engineer is a sound engineer. <laughs> You know, okay, don't yes. mind me. I was, I was trying to I can play. be at the live show. I was trying to play around, around, around. And I can be at church that. at the same time. So <laughs> okay. I feel my calling is okay. in so audio it, mechanism. Yeah, so. you know, that that has been a lot of conversation around that gospel aspect of music and the rest, right? To me, gospel music is more like a calling. It's like the pastor work. The okay. inspiration has to come from the Holy Spirit. Okay. Everybody can sing, Jesus, you're good. God, you're the greatest. Those are basic lyrics. But there are songs you listen to and they resonate with your soul. Mm. You know? I don't want to mention some songs that don't look like I'm an advertisement or stuff, but I've heard gospel music and I've heard godly songs. Okay. Yeah, those those are two different things. Yeah. So. Can you where's the Jesus works? Yeah. Years later, it wasn't singing the same thing. So you're gonna call can you a gospel artist. Okay. Okay. Ari Kelly did the same. So it's fine. Besides, if you listen to my songs, mm. I don't have vulgar words. Mm. My songs are motivational. They are not motivational, they are personal. Like, I, I tend to dish out personal experiences because I'm someone that God specifically loves. I've seen God's grace. I define God's grace. So I do not joke with that. Since I believe music is a strong weapon to reach out to a lot of people, I'm conscious about the content I dish out. Okay, fantastic. So uh, we have comments here coming in. Um, Rev Ken is saying, Oh, give a hello. Um, Rev Ken from Mixed uh, mix FM. Mix FM. Yeah. I have no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Prosper is saying, So wait, who are you working for now? <laughs> I don't understand. You guys have. Yeah, wh- right now I have a um, couple of labels I w- I'm working okay, with. Okay, so he asked, Since you're not working for God, who are you working for now? <laughs> I'm working for the government. <laughs> Tell Prosper work for the government. <laughs> Prosper says he work for the in government. In line with the completion <laughs> agenda of His Excellency. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, let's Only not, God. <laughs> let, let's, <laughs> not, let's not go there. All right. So let's let's talk about the other aspects of who you are. Mixed. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, mixed is an audio engineer. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know what an audio engineer is, let's say mixing and mastering engineer. 
Why? Because I do beyond mixing and mastering. I'm also an acoustician. Like I can set up acoustics for this room. Uh, I can handle live sound. Okay. So it's beyond the basic studio work. So that's what mixed is. And I wanted to differentiate the brand from Ogiva because I want Ogiva to thrive as an artist at most a producer in terms of like making beats. So even when I'm making beats, I'm still Ogiva. But the moment I switch from that session to, to mastering. the technical Part aspect of it, yeah. of it okay. that's when I become mixed. And for the past few years, I've been trying to build that brand because um, I think to a certain degree, Ogiva is a brand for itself. So yeah. right now, I'm focusing on mixed. Same reason why I haven't put out music for a while. You know, but I still stay in touch, features, and all of that. Well, that's what mixed is. A mixing, mastering engineer, an acoustician, audio consultant, anything that has to do with audio. Mm -hmm. So hit up mix at only one mixed on Instagram, and we'll continue our conversations from there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, guys, so uh, thanks for dropping your comments. Please do well to share this video with your friends so they too can see what we're doing right here. I'm playing those two give up mixed <laughs> right here in the studio. I'll be sitting down with me on Seed with EK. My name is Kevin E. Joseph. There's only one. If you've seen another one, is a female. And of course, she's my friend. <laughs> okay. Um, we have comments dropping in, and I know these guys are actually ready for you. And Prosper say, no wonder your name be no day the least away than publish your, your own money now. Opo. <laughs> Baba, well done, no? All right, you 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 produce Prosper song once, is that right? I haven't worked with Prosper, but we are very good friends. Prosper okay. is so Prosper is is a friend, is a brother. Uh, like okay, okay. So, um, Ref Ken is saying just met you recently, and you are such a cool fellow, amazing Thank guy, you. down Thank to you. earth, and very accommodating. Bless Thank up, bro. <laughs> Baba, they thank me for small chops. <laughs> 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 Rev. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. 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 That's that's some entry. Why are you like this? Down to it. Down to it. I shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, God! If he says I'm a cool person. Yeah, you are cool. You are. But trust me, I would like to have a friend like myself. You don't. It's not your replica of mom. Like, I feel like get friend. We'll be like me. <laughs> and I remember your last status, your WhatsApp status, one that said, Mom is your best friend. No, I feel like get friend. We'll be like me. Like, I'm someone that I can go all out for you, okay, money. Mm. Like, I don't really need to know your background. Make it be saying an issue. Mm. We'll solve it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> small chops. <laughs> Rev is laughing. It's hey a no, small hey chops. No, hey <laughs> no, hey no. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, do you have personality issues with um, mixed and um, or giver? Yeah, I think some people still don't know I'm or giver. Like this, is me speaking as mixed. Okay. And I know some people still don't know me as mixed. This is me speaking as or giver. So with time, people will get to know. Okay. Mm. All right. So almost all songs that we heard last year had your name mixed in it. Did they? How do you do it? <laughs> if I say that's a yeah, they lie. I don't know, but it happens that the songs I worked on, the labels, the artists, they decide to put it out as at the time you heard them. So it's as <laughs> if I did all of them at the same time, but they came at different times. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you sleep? I sleep in the daytime. Like, now I'm supposed to be sleeping. But because of a show, I'm up. Okay. Because I stay up all night. And work all night. Yeah. So, when you started production, um, do you, did you used to have issues with how you sound? Yes. As an artist? Yes. Okay. I never liked my voice. Nobody does. I never liked my voice until, like, I think 2012. Or 2014, self. Because even at that 2012, I still had issues with how I was sounding. Mm. Maybe not see finish, or maybe for real, my voice wasn't just uh, with time. Like right now, I love it. Yeah. Like, I'm nobody feel in this voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, Ref can is saying, don't give away now. <laughs> well, you know, I'm cooler than you, bro. I'm cool like that. <laughs> okay. I'll be full flask. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, all right, Rev. We're actually at 45 Ecole Ekpene Road here in Uyo. Uh, you could do well to visit us. He's asking um, where, where our studio is. So 45 Ecole Ekpene Road is where Nectar Studio is. If you come in, you're going to see us. And of course, that is where we're broadcasting from. Okay, um, guys, um, this is Steel Seed Unike, and I'm sitting down here with Ogiva. Okay, mixed, and we're talking about how he differentiates himself from production and, of course, uh, mixing. And I, I know he has other skills. Do you play guitar? Yeah, Aside I, from every every instrument I have, like I can touch every instrument. Okay, I'm from a background where everybody's musician. You play xylophone? Yes, I know. Like I know my way around it. Okay, it's not like it's my specialty, but I know my way around it. I played it. I played it while we were in primary school for okay. our school competition. So. Okay. I can add that. Oh boy, today was your day. I don't know. So Prosper is saying, "Oh, give please." What happened to your Don Jazzy voice? The honored voice collector. And, <laughs> 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 and what was the motivation behind the usage? Well, the Don Jazzy stuff uh, was just yeah. Me. When you were trying to make Don Jazzy back then, I love Don Jazzy. Okay. Yeah. And is it because you guys look alike? Apart from the look alike, I feel God deposited the same amount of. Um, in knowledge in both of us okay yeah because like everything he's doing and he has done are the things i would like to do you see but apart from that that was something i was just having fun with okay. and i had people who come around and say ah i beg i want to do one jam but you go give me that your don jazzy voice you know saying how do you decide to do that thing you mm. know the thing cast pass waiting out for being like normally mm. and that was that but i didn't like the idea that i would put efforts into making music and the first thing you say is ah this guy sound like don jazzy but when don jazzy they sing nobody they remember me mm, yeah right so i was like oh i have to drop this thing and be my real real self okay. i enjoyed it while it lasted but right now it's real busy like i can't sell that all right so ref ken is saying oh give i will bring me there but with small chops though without that so it's not coming this much or something i understand don't mind him rev is just in town so he has to find small chops rev that's how it works bro <laughs> oh well, and thank you very much he said good to see him i've been hearing his name oh god i beg drop something is that for you drop something yes like freestyle or i don't know Obon, tell us in the comment section what do you want to give her to drop Obon, i don't drop so don't drop it phone <laughs> 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 all right guys so you're still watching i'm sitting with ek okay. right here uh on nectar podcast and of course well this is where we bring people who are in the creative industry entertainers um, music artists producers we sit down we talk to them and uh, we get to know exactly what it is or give you produce rap yes we produce hip hop and um music. Afro. music so uh what's your process like do you prefer getting the beats first or do you prefer live production uh, you're asking me as a producer or as yeah, an artist no as a producer well as a producer i 80 percent of the time i play around with things like sounds melodies samples and anything i lay my hands on then with time we develop it into a full idea okay and i like to reach out to artists and like yo Ike, i have a sound for you Okay, but I don't sing again. Mm, like I was saying, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's not happening, is that you say, oh, Chief, I have this song I'm working on. I would like you to work on it for me. So I have to think in your dimension and develop it. Okay. So it's both ways, but 80% of the time, I develop first. Before you call before up? I get the artist. Too. Okay, so as an artist, which one do you prefer? I like the beats. Right. Like if you play beat now, if you do one song, no, no, no. We go do them. Really? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, certainly. And then I'm down. Yeah, down. Two minutes. To the earth. Full song. Full song. You want to drop a full full song? Two minutes. Sure. Okay. Intro to outro. Oh, God. Okay. So, Ubong is saying that. Somebody should please replies. record this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you're watching the live, please record it for me. I'll need the video. Send it to my WhatsApp. And then you get giveaway for those asking for giveaway, like Ubon is saying. So if you give me away, is that giveaway? It depends. <laughs> but they, they, how they go carry them, then get truck. They go carry them. They <laughs> get money. <laughs> <laughs> Prosper is saying you should not leave without giveaway. Well, uh, Ref Ken is saying, uh, I'll give a freestyle, please drop some lines ready Prosper. for me for Prosper. live interview. They send my you shows. my account details. Prosper is into Bitcoin. Oh, wow. He's one of the richest artists in Aquaibo. 
Prosper. Stop to the, introduce me to give away. Prosper, now, prosper dollar. <laughs> leave prosper. Prosper, do musician, musician, but a Bitcoin they sell. Prosper, the government is coming for you. <laughs> okay, so Ref Ken is actually asking me to play to play a traditional instrumental for you. But this is not Sawil Castro. <laughs> Why would he do that? Ref, you guys should not put me in the middle of I'm I'm a pop artist. Pop? Yeah. Should we do foreign pop? We should do local No, pop? keep it afro. <laughs> I don't get British accent. Like I can't okay. say if you give me a bottle of water, I feel a lot better. Uh okay. so I don't want to stress it. Don't stress it. Mm. Grace Bead is saying before now, we talk now and say, babe, by the column. Grace Bead. Well, let me call it you like the white Grace, call. You were saying B. No, man. You stop it. You stop, said B. Stop it. Or should I say B day? It's saying, I'm recording. Keep your payment. <laughs> <laughs> Grace, you're about to make my day, but it just broke my heart. <laughs> Pros- it just broke my heart, Grace. Okay, I mean, so- if you say be better person, but. Oh, God. Grace is also asking for um, Prosper to leave you alone. Please. About the giveaway part that she's Please. the one that needs the giveaway from you. That's that's a what do you call it? Covetousness. Oh really? And the Bible warns us against it. Oh boy, pastor, pastor or giver. Covet not your neighbor's property. Rema. <laughs> All right, guys. So um I, I, I introduced a game the last time I did the show. Okay. Into the game. Uh, into the show. So I, I would like to do this with you, right? So right. Rev is actually on you. He's saying I should please do either foreign pop or traditional pop. I'll give I ready for a live interview on my show. I'll do you back. <laughs> 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 okay, so so um let's let's do let's let's do um how do I put this now? This or that. Okay. For production, I'm going production now. Yes, sir. Let's just play maybe three, four, five questions. Cubes or fruity loops. Cubes. Cubes. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to come back into the production beats now, right? You do for music. I do for radio. We have those differences. Okay. Pro Tools or Adobe Audition? Pro Tools. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, I'm not doing an audition. Why do I need Adobe <laughs> So, what are you doing Pro Tools for? I'm a pro using tools. <laughs> <laughs> it shocked you. It shocked me. It shocked me. It shocked me. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Um, digital console or analog console? Mm, digital. Okay. Why? Why? Because I can I can incorporate the analog. I have analog plugins. Okay. So I can use that on my digital console. Okay. But if I have anal- okay. if I have analog console, it's hard to incorporate digital into it. Yeah, okay. Because it's just so the that would have left up left us at the hybrid part of it. Yeah, that's why I use FL Studio or Cubase. Both of them are hybrid. They combine digital and analog. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's I'm multi-processing for me, so... Okay, so multi-track or edit track? Multi. Multi-track. Multi. Okay, so you record everything, edit on multi-track. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, um, let's do one more, one more, one more. Zoom or Tascam? Tascam. <laughs> okay, all right. Fantastic. Um, so that's it for the producer side, for, for the mixed side yeah. of it now. So let's do the, um, the artist side. Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, give. Okay, let's talk about collaboration. Would you possibly collaborate with a, um, a traditional artist? Definitely, I would love to. There's someone I would love to work with is Sawilka. What's stopping you? If not Sawilka, X2, those men do not have time. Okay. You get, and those are not people you just call a uh, chief. I get one beat to an American voice for me. Mm. You need to appease the gods. Okay. But don't you think with um, the level of where you've reached, who that they'll. Who I be? Who give her? And that's Sawilka. Man made name for himself at least ten years before I surfaced. It doesn't mean. It means. What if he has? What if he has been thinking of doing the project we don't give a ball? Hey, Baba, I beg if you do mistake, reason I beg. <laughs> it mean a flash. <laughs> I will call you know, back. You know why I'm saying this? Yeah. Because Ogi, to, to be very sincere, <coughs> sometimes I think most times we 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 down to earth ourselves a lot. That um, we forget that there are people who actually see the amazing things we do and would like to work with us, but probably they are just waiting for that reach out. 
give it a thought. Well, I know for someone like Exto, Exto respects me and he loves what I do to a certain degree. But that doesn't mean I will have to approach him with some things. What I mean is I would still love to go through the normal procedures okay. before putting out content with such people because for one, it will generate money. Two, it has to do with brands. So if you have to do anything, you have to come correct. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm not like ready, ready, ready. Okay. But trust me, you get where I go reach, the kind of money where good I go run up because those are the kind of things you do and you make a video for straight up. Okay. Not be just song where you go record put for audio mark and no. This one is our people making something by our people to export to our people. Okay. Okay, so would you love would you love to do something around high life? Mm, I can't do high life with time. So I, I'm actually I'm actually going to tell you this for free. We're losing a lot of our high life artists, the older ones. Are you aware? Yes, yes, yes. I noticed. So don't don't you think it's time we preserve this with the younger ones by doing collaborations at least? I think. Well, we can, but the thing is not about the collaboration. It's about the culture. You know, there are people who wake up and say, yeah, I want to keep this hip-hop culture. And they go for it. Mm -hmm. Or the high life path. We do not have it. Why? Because the pop and Afro music has taken over all of that. It has infused all our local content with international beats and all of that. So they have merged all of that into the Afro pop music that you're hearing these days. So it seems the high life is dying off. But trust me, I have songs that are deep high life. That you've not released. Uh, so why do producers, why do artists who, who happen to be producers take a lot, a lot more time to release their songs? Or some never do? I think it's genius level. <laughs> yeah. For a while I was thinking we would talk without laughing. <laughs> but I don't know, you, you were waiting for something else to say. No, the, that's the truth. Okay. Like, I always ask myself, why haven't you put out music? I make lots of excuses why I shouldn't put out music. And all of that has stopped because... There's a team handling my content right now, and that's Max Stream. Mm. So they are in works for what is about to come. Mine is to make the music and worry less about which I should put up because they are doing the selection and the distribution for me. So I thank God. Okay, great. I, I like it that you've, you've had um, a deal already. Yeah. So do you think management or record label, which one do you think would actually work for you? Well, you for me, yeah. You like do not for for all giver, yeah. At this point, for me, I don't like the record label thing. Even if it's gonna be a record label, there must be a level of um, freedom relationship. Okay. You know, like you would take me just the way I am, and you would do what you would want me to do. Like you have to live up to your own expectations. Okay. I'll live up to mine, and we we'll live up to each other's expectations as well. You get because when you say record label, I've heard, I've seen situations where an artist is signed and for three years, four years, nothing is done. Yeah, you know, and when someone wants to leave, you say, "Oh, after all I've done for you." <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, it's someone's money, but instead of a record label, make it be say, "Oh, Eli, get one money where Eli won't pick. Okay. Once Eli pick that money, I don't think go sign me." Okay. But the signing, I know go be pen and paper. We mm. all know say, "Okay, Eli, I'm our guy." Verbal signing. Now my man, you know, with the runner. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, while while I was asking the question about so doing your songs there, yeah? <laughs> and keeping your songs, Prosper reminded me of one of our guys. <laughs> I don't know, but he has since he has written in the public domain. I'm going to read it out. Danny P, I'm sorry, <laughs> but Danny P S U is one of such producers. According like, to Prosper, they hardly release their songs. Them go mix them like twenty five times. They like still don't drop them. In Prosper, they allow person to drop some. <laughs> Prosper, do, do you allow someone to drop? Okay, uh, in what sense now? In the sense that I'm making music for you, Ike. Mm. When I'm making mine, my melodies don't have to sound like yours. My lyrics don't have to sound like yours. My delivery, everything. Mm. So it's more like multitasking. Mm -hmm. You know, easy. Yeah, yeah I get it. You know, easy. I get it. And for producers who easily put out music, you'll see that there's a point where they shut everybody out and work on themselves. But for those of us who survive, or make an, um, a living from making music for other people. Like, I want close to the same person in a book session. Okay. So, uh, at that point, what do you think you're going to do? Are you going to just give up the giver 
aspects of it and I focus can't. on the mixed? I can't. I can't because Ogiva gave back to mixed. Okay. You see. So then you need to make a sacrifice for it. Yeah, I will. But for now, I am sacrificing for mixed. You know, I've learned, I've made my mistakes as Ogiva. Mixed is a brand I'm trying to build now. So that's that for now. But trust me, uh, get money we go drop. Uh, mm. Go forget I've been mixing engineer. What you go done? Not be, nothing really. I'll just do the music, like okay. everybody does the music. You make songs, you shoot videos, and you promote. Okay. Because another thing is, when you have a nice song, you just don't want it to end on Nigel Loaded. One of the Does Nigel Loaded still like? Yeah, they still there. They still they tweet for Twitter. Okay. You know. I thought I don't streaming platforms took over. That's there. what I'm saying. Like, I just don't want the songs to be there. Putting your songs, creating your songs to playlists or pitching your songs to playlists these days costs money. Yeah, it does. And that's the money we are looking after. Okay. You see? You, you know, use 200K, they compete with the video where they invest like 10 million for promo. They don't see you. But it's okay to start small. But sure. I don't want to. You want to start big? Yeah. On a bang. Yes. Okay. All right. So Ubo is saying, saying, I don't think I've noticed any Bomatis featuring each other. Trust me, it's been it's it would be amazing if they try. But I don't think so Ubo is saying because a lot of people, a lot of artists, Libra and actually Powder always, always, always feature come themselves. Come That's an example, one yeah. of them. Uh, so we have a whole lot. So we we have a whole lot, a whole lot of artists are featured. A whole lot, like a whole lot of them, right? So I think you should look more in, and you are going to see that seriously. A whole lot of people do that. All right, so while um, Prosper and Grace are actually fighting about, about giveaways, uh, I'm still here playing us to Ogiva, and um, we're talking uh, more about what he has been doing. So, Ogiv, do you know that we've overshoot our time? And, of course, it's time that I go to the favorite part of the show. Maybe I'm too interesting. Yeah, you are. Actually, you're like a book that is not going to be end, ending quite soon. Mm. So please, when are we getting a video from you about a video for your last jam? That's from Prosper. Come on. Yeah. Prosper, you send me like two Bitcoin. <laughs> you go see that video. <laughs> <laughs> Stop to harass me online. <laughs> okay. So you did my WhatsApp. <laughs> All right. So I have a three minutes, 34 seconds of amazing beats here for Ogiva. Ogiva, is that time you need to do this for us? Okay. Um, this is just uh, an instrumental out there. Why are you chilling? I'm that relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, but it's, it's quite amazing to, to know that. Um, right here, we're, we're playing us to one of the amazing guys, and he's not going to mix this one because let me go mix some for him. So, <laughs> so I'll, mix the, I'll mix the beat, I'll mix the jam, and see how Ogiva is going to do that for us. Ogiva, yeah. you ready? I'm ready. All right, so here comes your beat. Can you hear that? You can't? Oh, really? Okay, so I think you should be able to. Can you now? Just hearing myself. You're just hearing yourself? Yeah. Can you hear anything? Sure, I can. No, we can swap here. Yeah, sure, we can. Okay. Everything I judge, me I know the rush. It's just freestyle. 
and I'm sitting with EK. If to say I don't blow, I should say they for call me CK, CK. But I choose to do me. I choose to be me. gonna show you this video again okay. on this day mm. and i'll remind you if if i like do i'm again no i'm not gonna do this thing in five years again <laughs> like i'll be way bigger than this boy 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 you do a freestyle again if we have to sit down again on the definitely show. i always do i just love to vibe mm. you no know, music is not it's not that serious not something you go right um, stars at the moon sun in the soil mm. no you know, like Hmm. Keep it simple. Something someone can sing along with. So. Okay, so we we're now into the presenter's part. Yep. Oh, the the song at the artist's part right. of our, our our question stuff. So, do you prefer to write your songs or to just flow with the beat? Well, I've, to be sincere, which I've never written any song. My songs always come as a result of vibe, 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 vibe. And we choose what's best. Okay. Yeah, like. If I'm in the studio, I load up my beats in my software, and as I'm vibing to it, you get, I try to make the most sense out of everything I'm doing or saying at the time. So that's how I make my music. So the lyrics have to come correct, the English has to be right. And but apart from that, it's just vibe. Like I know they carry pen and paper, go sit down somewhere and say, I want to write this song, Love of My Life. Then I start now. Okay. It's always vibe to vibe to vibe to vibe to vibe to vibe. Okay. Yep. Drink or clean eye? Drink or clean eye while recording? Clean eye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any reason? You're not timid of your microphone. <laughs> no, no ap ap apart from that, apart from that, uh, high has never been a source of inspiration. Okay. You get me? Yeah. So if I'm, for instance, I would take, let's say, a glass of whiskey. Mm. You know, to listen to what I've done. Why? Because I would like to know what the average person who is sitting in the club, at the bar, outside, mm. having a glass of wine, I would like to know how he accepts the music too. So, but I have to make it clear so that I'm sure it's Ogiva that is making this music. Okay. Uh, that, just sip a little and listen to the song playing. It's just for the fact that, oh, the people won't jam this song, then they club, then for don't top up small. Okay, so... Um, disco deal mm -hmm. or a record deal? Disco. Disco deal. Okay. Performance. Yeah. Uh, you've done performance, yeah. right? Like your songs. How far so far? Mm, I love what's been going through you now. Uh, like sometimes I'm surprised that I'm on stage and I hear people shout, no give. I'm like, ah, these people know me. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, if you if you continue to speak with Ogive, actually you're not going to leave, right? Because the guy is fun and the guy is weird and the guy is. I wish crazy. I was Josh. You know I'm too funny. So <laughs> it's like a don't leave me challenge. <laughs> Prosper is saying, "Damn, where you get that beats from? Oh, we record them. Oh, Ogive killed it. I choose to do me. I choose to do me. That line, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And he's saying that he's gonna sing. He's gonna play this uh, until he sleeps. Grace, today. Grace, B, please keep this video. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was just saying the ad lips. You go explain them more. I'm like, okay. Uh, what's Jaburata, Jaburata, Jaburata? <laughs> no, as the word is Jaburata, you ja, 
Then you, you boo, then you rat, rat, then you ta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So Ref Ken is actually saying, okay, when you just have one personalities with one singer. So yes, I agree with you because I was. I was a singer until then I said that my song was work. <laughs> and I said, okay, I'm not doing it again. But Rogi is going to help me learn production, uh, music production. So I'll come and sing. Definitely. I'm coming up with production masterclass yeah. in a few weeks. So okay. anybody who is interested in learning, because over years I've realized that there are a lot of people who haven't been able to make the music of their dreams. Why? Because they have this complaint. Oh, I carry my song, go studio. The producer, go change my song. I know so I've been doing my song before I go studio. So it's fine and it's okay to learn how to make the music yourself. Okay. I think the only thing you should pay or like um, invest in is getting people like professionals to mix and master those things for you. Okay. Because for now, time, yeah. people ah, to lay bit not be anything again. Right. You know, softwares are everywhere. Ideas are everywhere. You have thousands of loops online that you can use in making music and nobody will know. So it's okay to create in your convenience then it's best to get a professional to finish it up for you. Okay, fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. Thank you very much, everybody, for being part of the show. Your comments are amazing. I, I love it so much. Thank you very much for making keeping us company and joining us. Thank and you. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you, right, thank you very much, Baba, for Everybody in that comment come. section, God bless you. Thank you for coming through, too. Yeah, so... Watch my Jabarata. <laughs> Okay, I want to say a big shout out to everybody who made this possible. Thanks to Boz Abbas, yeah, uh, who you. actually made this possible for Boss us to Abbas. sit down here and do Bale, this. Bale. <laughs> Bale. Uh, a big shout out to Daniel, even when he's tired, he's still flipping the cameras for yeah. us. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, Daniel David, thank you very much to Godwin. Godwin is our camera guy too, yeah. who helped in the setup. Eli. Eli. He doesn't like to be seen. Yes, Elizabeth. That's pride. <laughs> no, don't, don't call him Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Eli, thank you very much for making this possible. <laughs> thank you for not making my face go blank. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Divine was here also giving me um, <clears throat> a moral support, even when she's a bully. Uh, but all the same, she's returning on a show on Friday, Didi. Hope you brought giveaways. Because if you did not, go back to where thou came it from. Right? All right, guys, so thank you very much. 45 Economic Money Road is the studio address. Come get your cameras for your events and your shows. And if you want to do music videos, we are here to help you. Standard. Yeah, anything you need, Standard. we can do that for you. Don't so, play yourself. <laughs> don't, don't play yourself. Before yeah. you go wedding, come back. You don't see videos they again. They go say your wedding now. They forget to press record. <laughs> okay, I'll go do your wedding again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to leave you with this one. And uh, this one is actually from Ogiva. It drops last year, and he calls this one Mom Idem Kama, right? Kama, Kama is the title. I, I remember that line, Mom Idem Kama. Yeah. yeah, so guys, see you again Ooh. on Wednesday yep. when I'm going to play host to like, another artist. Am I coming artist. again on Wednesday? Sorry? Am I coming again on Wednesday? Yeah, just to snap pictures. Uh, so I will put out an album after then, like yeah. my photo album. Yeah, photo album. Huh? Yeah. Producers, producers album. Then you do some... Some Our future prosper in my photo album. <laughs> prosper, send your selfie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, bye. Thank you.